Hi there. So today we are going to look at the cowbell. The cowbell is something you've probably seen before, but you might not know its interesting story. So the cowbell, a little bit of its history. Um, herdsmen, which are kind of like farmers, used to put these on cows. Um, why did they put bells on cows? Well, they had a couple of really good reasons. Um, one, they put them on cows because if cows were wandering far away from their fields and they wanted to know where they were, they would just put rope around these and they would have a little clapper inside and then it would shake and make a noise. So if they were far away, herdsmen would know where their cows were and they wouldn't need to go looking for them for such a long time. They could just listen. Another reason, and this is not as commonly known, is sometimes farmers had their cow herds combine or they, they'd kind of get amongst each other. What they did then is cow herders would have a whole bunch of different sounds. So one cow herder might have one with like a, a certain note and then the other one might have a different note. So if you have one cow and you don't know whose cow is who, they just listen for the sound of the bell and they go, oh, okay, no, no, my cows have that sound. And so then they'd know whose cows was who. So kind of an interesting way to how it all started. Um, but what was interesting about those bells that the cows had is they had clappers in them. Um, and the clappers are like that little ball that you see inside that help make the, the noise. That's called a clapper cowbell or a tuned cowbell. In that case, it's, it's something that's tuned to a specific note. Nowadays, you can still find tuned cowbells in an orchestra. They are not gonna sound quite like the ones you find on cows in the fields, but they're actually tuned to a specific note and orchestras do use them quite a bit. Um, what I have here in my hands today is called a clapperless cowbell. How do I know it's clapperless? Because if I look inside, there's nothing there. How do you play a cowbell without a clapper in it? Well, that's pretty easy. All you need is a stick and you give it a good hit. How, how or where do we find these kind of cowbells? You find them in Latin American music. They play them and they just hit them with a stick. And really, that's all there is to a cowbell. Now, here's the cool part. You can actually make a cowbell at home with just a couple of simple things you find laying around your kitchen. What you'll need for this is a can. It can be a soup can, a coffee can, any kind of can. You'll need a hammer and a nail, which I don't have with me today, but you can find that in your garage probably. You'll need some paint. You'll need some white paint too. You'll need some yarn, a paintbrush, and some wooden beads. So first of all, before you get this activity started, you're going to need the help of an adult. Do not do this next step at home by yourself. Please, please, please find an adult to help you with this first step. So what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to find a nail and a hammer and an adult. And what's gonna happen is there's going to be a hole hammered right at the top, okay? Once that hole is there, you're gonna grab some string and you're gonna need about three feet. If you don't know how much three feet is, that's about your arm's length from one hand to the other. And even that's a little long, so you can go a little shorter if you'd like. Now, once you do that, you're gonna cut it, fold the string in half, and you're going to string it through the hole of your cowbell, okay? Now, when you get it through, string it so the part that's folded goes out the top. Why? So when you grab your wooden beads and you string them on the bottom, you have something to tie them on with, okay? Once they're tied on, you're gonna wanna put about three or four knots in each of these strings. Otherwise, these little wooden beads they're gonna fall right out. And you don't want that to happen after all the hard work you did getting them in there. Once you've got them in, I suggest putting a whole bunch of knots at the top. Trust me, I've done this already. It falls out and you're gonna to have to restring it. It's not fun. <laughs> Do it only once and then tie a knot. When that's done, you get the fun of painting it and you can paint however you want. I decided to make my cowbell look like an actual cow. So I did white paint for the outside and then I put some black dots. So I have a real cowbell, but you don't need to do that. What you could do is you could paint it blue or green. Maybe you want stars on it. Maybe you want a rainbow, whatever you like. Get as creative as you want. So there you have it, your very own cowbell. I hope you enjoyed learning about the cowbell today. 
Stay safe, everyone. See you next time. Bye.